Last week, the United States Army introduced the M2A4E1 Bradley variant at the Reserve Center in Saco, Maine. This latest iteration represents a significant leap forward in terms of both modernization and survivability. The M2A4E1 Bradley stands out as the most advanced version to date, boasting a range of enhancements aimed at bolstering its defensive capabilities. Key among these upgrades is the integration of the Iron Fist Light IFL Active Protection System, designed to counter anti-armor threats effectively. The Iron Fist system is a critical addition, providing the Bradley with the means to defend against a variety of threats, including rocket-propelled grenades, in diverse environments ranging from open terrain to densely populated urban areas. Its mechanism involves launching an explosive charge toward incoming threats, detonating it to create a shockwave that disrupts or deflects the threat away from the protected platform. One notable feature of the Iron Fist system is its combustible casing, which serves to minimize collateral damage by reducing fragmentation. This design consideration not only enhances the safety of nearby personnel but also helps safeguard critical infrastructure during combat operations. In addition to the Iron Fist system, the M2A4E1 Bradley incorporates other improvements, such as an enhanced high-definition forward-looking infrared gunner sight and an environmental control unit. The latter is particularly crucial for preventing heat stress among dismounted troops, underscoring the Army's commitment to ensuring the welfare of its personnel in challenging operational environments. According to a statement from the Program Executive Office Ground Combat System, the Army received funding to procure the M2A4E1 for every Bradley donated to Ukraine.